Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for May 31st through June 6th. Um, so guys, I am so proud to announce that my little sister has started her own tarot channel, Temperance of Tarot. The link is in the description box below if you would like to give her a warm welcome, like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Um, so guys, I hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Let's get started. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Leos, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages, what advice does my Leos need to hear, please, for May 31st through June 6th, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have today for my Leos, please? All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back, and if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry. Um, it is a lot of fun. I also give away um, NIV Bibles. Uh, they're great for Bible study with the large print. So guys, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, when you're commenting, please be sure to comment what it is you'd like to manifest in the giveaway so I know what to choose you for, okay? Um, for personal readings, I am still only taking emergency readings due to high demand, okay? Um, you can find the link in the description box below to book a reading. You'll also find my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. I did start that series I was telling you guys about, um, how to find spiritual joy while overcoming pain and suffering. Part one is out, and I'm going to be putting out a, a video too um, very soon about why we fall in love with emotionally unavailable people. So if you want to check that out, the link is below. So Leo, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message. Um, so Leo, someone here has had enough and I feel like it's you. I'm not going to lie. I feel like someone here has had enough. They're tired of being in a connection, um, that is emotionally disconnected or they're tired. You're tired of being in a connection where somebody is not showing emotion. Um, it's, it's painful. It's really painful and you're sick of it. You're sick of, you know, putting your big old lion heart out there and somebody is just totally indifferent. Okay. Um, and I feel that you're pulling away, even if it hurts you, even if you're up all night, even if you're crying, whatever the case may be, even if it hurts you, you're pulling away from this until this person comes towards you with true regret, wants reconciliation. Um, they see what they've lost and they want to work on the connection and that's it. You're giving up on it. You're just done. You're just giving up on this connection until they see your worth. And if they don't come back and see your worth, then it's not worth your time. Okay. So we've got the queen of swords here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. That's it. You're cutting somebody off. You're shutting off emotion. You're using your mind here. Like, listen, I tried to use my heart. I've poured out a bunch of love and you do nothing but just, you know what I'm saying? You don't give anything in return and I'm done with it. It's heartbreaking. It's, it's, it's emotionally draining. I'm just done, you know? So here we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah. You know, I mean, listen, Leo, a lot of people, they tend to think that Leos are super, super selfish, this, this, and that. And you guys may have your moments. I'm not going to lie, but overall, I mean, you guys are very loving. You know what I'm saying? You're very loving. You love to spoil your person. And with children here, I feel that you're dealing with either someone where there's an age difference or you're dealing with someone who's emotionally immature, or you're going to love yourself first and you're going to put yourself first until this person person comes in, um, you know, with change behavior, wanting to start a new beginning. Okay. Yeah. You've given a lot to this connection. They have to come in and prove to you now. Okay. We've got sacral chakra. I feel here that, you know, you're like, is this just lust? Is this just love? You know, is, is it love lust? What am I here for? And with that sacral chakra, those are negative energy. It's a little more negative. Okay. It's more like fear and all this other stuff. So I feel here that, you know, you, you don't want to be in a connection where you, um, feel unsafe. Okay. You're tired of it. Okay. So you're like, listen, I'm going to shake things up here with disruption that, you know, uh, the, the tower card, I'm going to shake things up here and, you know, I'm going to find out if this person loves me or if they don't love me. This is the ace of cups here. So I feel like, you know, you're going to shake it up. It's either going to, you know, sink or swim. That's it. You know, you don't care anymore. All right. Um, so let's see what we have going on here. So we have the emperor Aries Taurus energy. 
King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So guys, you could be married to this person. This could be a true soul tie, but it's also a connection where there isn't much emotion. You're becoming very defensive towards each other, okay? And here we have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Um, you're starting to wake up to this and you want to start taking control of the situation. You're tired of being in a connection where there's no emotion. You need to see that this person is putting in the work. You want to work on a connection that there's a solid foundation you want to build a future with somebody here and being that that's not happening you know i feel like you're walking away with that six of swords you're done you're tired five of pentacles abandoning ship someone here has left the building done you know what i'm saying you're done with somebody here you know this this emperor and this king of swords this is a this is a, a, a an energy where this person has boundaries like like ridiculous you know what i'm saying to get through to this person you would need i don't even know what you would need you know what i'm saying a whole excavation project like it's crazy like either you're going to trust me and we're going to build on this and move forward or i'm out you know that's it so here we have the three of swords Someone here is heartbroken, okay? So this person here is being left because they don't want to work on a connection, okay? Um, and I feel that here with the Three of Swords, we've got someone being heartbroken, Four of Pentacles, somebody here holding back, okay? Um, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So this is... This could be the shoe is on the other foot type of thing or trying to teach this person a lesson. You may have been done, you know, you may have been destined to meet this person um, or you're just, you know, pulling back from this heartache to go pursue what it is that you want. We've got the 10 of cups here. OK, you see this person as a soulmate or you're looking for a soulmate. You're looking for a successful 10 of cups connection here nine of pentacles okay virgo energy and you know you're worth leo okay so i feel like this is your person i feel like this person is you know all cramped up and boundaries and all this other stuff okay and you know they realize that they should work on this connection they do but they're just not working on the connection okay so you're out the door they you left them they're they're out in the cold okay now here you are heartbroken okay holding back from this but you know that either this wheel like you're spinning a wheel and either it's good you're taking the gamble. Either it's going to turn in your favor or it's not. Either way, Leo, you know that you're going to be okay with that nine of pentacles. You're pre-empress here, whether you're male, female, my point is you know your worth, okay? You know your worth. And with that ace of wands, either you're going to have a new beginning with this person where they're going to get their crap together, or you're going to go move forward towards something new and, you know, get what you want. That's it. You're just like done now. Done. Holy Spirit, what clarity and guidance can we bring to my Leos, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance can we bring to my Leos, please, Holy Spirit? Tell me about this emperor. The star, Aquarian energy. And the knight of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This person might chase you guys. This emperor is out to chase this empress. Or vice versa, guys. Gender doesn't matter. Tell me about this King of Swords, please. We've got the Five of Cups. What did I say in the pre-shuffle? Unless this person comes in with true regret and remorse and is willing to open up, you're not dealing with it. Yeah, see the Ace of Swords. This person is gaining clarity. This person is seeing the truth that they really do need to open up here. Yeah, because with this Ten of Pentacles, if they don't, they're going to lose you for good. They really need to start putting some work in here because, you know, they, they can see. They can see with that Six of Cups, they can see that they've been holding their heart space too much. You know what I'm saying? They have to put a little bit of work in here. Okay. Like too much is too much. Tell me about the six of swords. We've got the moon, cancer, Piscean energy. Um, I feel like by you walking away, this person, it stirred their emotions. I'm getting emotions here with the moon. Okay. And the Knight of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I feel Leo that this person, um, they're there. It's going to spark their emotion and they're going to come towards you. We've got them racing towards you. We've got them coming towards you with love and you're going to leave them out in the cold and they're going to want a second chance, Sagittarius energy. So I do feel they're going to come in with an apology with regret. They are going to chase you and they are going to agree with the fact that they have to put in more work, okay? Three of Swords here. We've got the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're tired. You're tired of being up at night, heartbroken. Like, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
four of pentacles with the two of pentacles this person holds back so much it's like you're always stuck in this energy of is this moving forward am i going to be happy what's happening i don't know like you know what i'm saying like it's it's like this person it's like being in a relationship with a wall or a tree you know what i'm saying it's just too much like you'll open up and have a conversation with this person and they're just blinking at you like listen linda no this is not how this is going to go you know what i'm saying wheel of fortune and the seven of swords you're dipping you're getting out of dodge i'm sorry i see like and it's gonna happen quick like you're gonna pack you up your little backpack and get the hell it's gonna be a very fast change okay very fast change scorpionic energy you're just gonna do it on a whim you're up out and gone tell me about this ten of hearts the wheel of fortune again yeah see this this wheel has to turn you got the wheel of fortune here twice you're gonna take this gamble you're gonna take this risk you're packing up you're leaving you're looking behind all right let me let's see but it's the balls in your cart now court now let's see what you're gonna do you know what i'm saying you're packing up you're getting the hell out of there you're leaving tell me about this nine of pentacles ace of pentacles so this person we've got the nine plus one ten of pentacles this person it's the best thing spirit is saying that taking off like this leaving doing what's best for you sneaking away from this connection is going to work in your favor with this wheel of fortune and this wheel of fortune this person sees your worth now the real offer for stability comes in okay tell me about this ace of wands eight of, of um cups here so you see passionate communication starts to come in from this person only once they see you disconnecting only once they see you disconnecting page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy now they're going to start reaching out to talk to you about opening up their heart and having a true connection here okay yeah see this person has been holding a lot in and now they're going to come in and let it out because this is no you can't do this you know what i'm saying this is hell to the nay nay not putting up with this shit ten of pentacles is the challenge guys this is beautiful okay because you've got the ten of pentacles you've got the ten of cups I mean, come on. And we have the tower, Aries, uh, Taurus energy, Aries, Scorpionic energy, excuse me. So yeah, this tower has to fall. You're, you're just going to take the gamble. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm abandoning this person. I'm sneaking out in the middle of the night. I'm going to let this tower fall. And if it turns into this beautiful 10 of pentacles and 10 of cups, great. If it transforms, fantastical. And if it doesn't, I'm fine all by myself and I'll go find somebody new, you know, and because you put your self worth first, you know, we have the six of cups and the ace of cups oh the past is coming back with overflowing love ace of cups and the six of cups guys how gorgeous is that no they're coming back to rekindle this this person does not want to lose you they do not want to lose you okay yeah see the queen of swords this person is chasing you this person is chasing you leo sagittarius energy yeah no this person's chasing you all right guys so yeah just put your self-respect first walk away for a quick minute and they're coming in to get you and when they come back things are going to be good things are going to be the way you want them to be it's going to be a healthy relationship okay i love you guys take care